Grace Kira, and we're back with another workout video. Today we will be doing agility, so make sure you're pumped up for that. We will be needing a water bottle today, a yoga mat, you can't really see this right here, and you'll be needing four, four stationary items. So, we have an eraser, a pencil, a pen, and a highlighter. So have that all ready to go, and we're going to get started with our warm-up. Just a few reminders before we start our workout today. Make sure to check your surroundings and make sure there's nothing in your way, and also make sure to work at your own pace. We're going to start with our warm-up. To start off, we're going to be doing jogging on the spot with opening the gate. So we're just going to jog for three seconds and open up the gate. We're going to start in three, two, and one. Go! So jog on the spot, open up the gate. Jog on the spot, open up the gate. So essentially, you're just opening up your hip flexors to the side. You want to make sure that your knees are bent 90 degrees as much as possible. Amazing work everybody! Make sure the jog is just a jog, you don't want to go too fast. Just increasing your heart rate slightly. Keep breathing. Let's go everybody! We're going to close the gate now, so we're going to do the opposite motion. We're going to bring our hip flexors in and close that gate. Still doing jogging on the spot for three seconds in between. Amazing work, everybody. Take it nice and slow. Make sure it goes all the way around and get back into the jogging. If you want, you can replicate a runner's arms. Great work, everybody. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. We have neck rotations next, so you're just going to stand up and you're just going to rotate your neck clockwise. Make sure you're just slowly moving your neck here. Make sure you go in all directions. Make the most out of your exercise. We're going to go the opposite direction, so counterclockwise. Amazing work, everybody. Keep it up. You're doing great. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out again. Up next, we have external and internal rotations. So you're going to open up your chest. You're going to bring your arms back by squeezing those shoulder blades. Make sure your elbows are bent at 90 degrees. Just going to open up that chest here. Squeeze. Great work, everybody. Keep it up nice and slow. You're working your shoulders here as you internally and externally rotate them. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're now going to do lunges with our arms above our head. So you're going to do one lunge, whatever you like first, and you're just going to put your arms above your head. And you're just going to keep doing the lunges with your arms above your head. Making sure that your knees do not go over your toes. And if you would like, you can drop the arms and just do regular lunges or Keep the arms up, whatever you like. Remember to work at your own pace here. It's important to see where you're at, assess yourself. Great work, everybody. 10 seconds left, let's keep it up. Make sure you bend your back as well. 
back just your front knee. Three, two, and one. Great work, everybody. Shake it out. We have open the chest next. So you're just gonna open up your chest and cross your arms over each other. You can give yourself a big hug. You deserve it. Remember to keep breathing. Great work, everybody. Have those arms nice and loose. And when you get to this point, make sure you squeeze your shoulder blades and pull back. Five, four, three, two, and one. We have side lunges next. So you're going to take your right leg to start off and it's going to bend your knee in 90 degrees. And you're just gonna pulse up and down. So make sure your back is nice and straight. Your spine is nice and aligned. Pulsing up and down. So you're working your inner thighs here. Making sure that your knee does not go over your toes, even though we're doing a side lunge here. Great work, everybody. Small pulses up and down. You're doing amazing. We're going to switch legs now. So take it to the left leg. Up and down pulses. Very small. Keeping that chest nice and high. Your spine aligned. Amazing work, everybody. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake your legs out. Shake your arms out. And for our final warm-up exercise, we're going to do walk-outs to plank. So you're going to reach up ahead of you. Walk your hands out into a plank. And you're just going to hold it for three seconds. And you're going to walk them back in. Keep doing that, or do it for one minute. Make sure when you're doing that plank that your shoulders are directly above your wrists and that you squeeze your butt to engage your core. You don't want your hips too high or too low like this. Keep it nice and neutral and engage that core. Great work, everybody. Keep it up. Keep breathing. We're almost there. You're halfway there with this exercise. Let's go, everybody. 15 more seconds left. If you would like, you can do a push-up here. Or just keep holding your plank for three seconds and walking it back in. Five, four, three, two, and one. Finish up your rep and grab some water. You are done the warm up, everybody. Hello, everybody. You may be wondering why I'm on the floor, but I am now going to show you our main set for today, and that requires some floor preparation. So for our first activity, we're gonna be doing a item game and it's gonna be really fun it's gonna test our agility and reflexes so I'm gonna show you right now what the floor preparation should be like before we start our activity so what I first want you to do is I want you to align four items the what items I showed you at the beginning of the video a highlighter a pencil an eraser and a pen and I want you to put it into a square formation. So it can be in any order. It doesn't have to be highlighter here, or pencil here. You can have your pencil here, whatever works for you. So just place your items in a square and I'll be explaining the activity. So for our activity, we are going to be standing in the middle of our box here. I know you can't see the items, but you'll essentially be standing in the middle of the box and our first exercise is high knees. So for one minute, we're gonna be doing high knees as such in the middle of the box. 
and when I call out an item, I want you to stop what you're doing and quickly snatch up your item and then put it back down and get ready for the next item to be called. So for the first minute, we're doing high knees and then after that, we'll be doing another exercise. So get ready and we'll get started. Make sure to place yourself in the middle of the box and we're gonna start high knees in three, two, one, go. So start off with high knees, as high as you can go. Replicate our runner's arms here. Pencil. Highlighter. Eraser. Pencil. Pen. Highlighter. Eraser. Pencil. Pen. Keep going. Highlighter. As fast as you can. Eraser. 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 Keep going. Ten seconds left. Pencil. Pen. Highlighter. Highlighter. And we're done. Amazing work, everybody. Great job. Grab some water. Okay, we're back from our water break. Right now, we're going to be doing one minute of jumping jacks. Same activity, different exercise. So make sure you, get, you stand in the middle of the box. And we're going to get started in three, two, one, go. Jumping jacks on the spot. Let's go. Pencil. Go as fast as you can. Pen. Highlighter. Pencil. Eraser. Eraser. Pencil. Highlighter! Highlighter! Pen! Keep going! Pencil! 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 Keep going! Five, four, highlighter! Three, two, and one! Amazing work, everybody! Grab some water. We are now back from our water break and we're going to continue with our next and final exercise. We're going to be doing butt kicks for one whole minute. Extreme activity. So, butt kicks looks like this. So you're just trying to aim your heels to your foot. You go as fast as you can for the full minute and listening to my cues. Get in the middle of the box, and we're going to get started in three, two, one, go! Start off with some butt kicks! Pencil! Keep going! Pencil! Highlighter! Eraser! Highlighter!
Okay, everybody, we're back from our water break and we are done our first activity. I hope you all enjoyed using the props today. You can put it to the side for now because we're gonna be working on footwork and agility. And so you will need your mat for this. I will aim my camera down a bit so you can see. So you will need your mat. And we're going to be using the side of your mat as a rope or a line. So that when you're doing your agility or your footwork, you can use it as a frame of reference. For our ladder activity today, we will be doing 45 seconds on of an exercise and 15 seconds rest. So for our first 45 seconds, we're going to be doing in, in, out, out. So we're going to start off at one side of the mat and go in, in, out, out. So you're stepping in once, stepping in twice, stepping out once, stepping out twice. So in, in, out, out. As fast as you can for the full 45 seconds, then 15 second rest. We're going to start in five, four, three, two, and one. Go! In, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. So go as fast as you can. In, in, out, out. Let's go, everybody. Keep it up. You should hear your feet when you're doing this. You don't want to be too loud, but you want to be able to hear your feet moving. Great work, everybody. Light on the feet. Light on the feet. Try to go on your toes as much as possible. Great work. You're halfway there. Keep it up. In and out, out. In, in, out, out. Let's go, let's go. 10 seconds left. In, in, out, out. Keep breathing. You're doing amazing. Work at your own pace. Three, two, and one. Amazing work. Grab some water, everybody. We are now back from our break and we're going to continue with our next exercise, which is side to side hops. So again, you're gonna start off on one side and you're just gonna jump over the line from side to side, progressively moving ahead. And then you're gonna turn around and go the same way back. So make sure to use your side core for this as you move from side to side. Starting in five, four, three, two, and one. Go! Side to side hops, let's go as fast as you can. Progressively moving ahead. Keep going, turn around, and go the same way back. Amazing work, everybody! You're halfway there. Let's go, let's go as fast as you can. Keep it up. Keep breathing, you're doing amazing. Use that core of yours to help you go from side to side. If that happens, keep on going. You're doing amazing, everybody. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great work, everybody. Grab some water. We are now, oops, <laughs> we are now back from our break and we're gonna continue to our next exercise, which is hopscotch. So you're gonna stand on up. You're going to start on one side of the mat and kind of go in the middle actually of the line. And you're just gonna do in and out jumps using the line as your center. So just like you would do it in hopscotch, you would go out and in to the center line. Up and in. We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, and one. Go. So again, out, in, out, in. Great work, everybody. Turn around, go to the, to the same way back. See if you can go faster. Amazing work, everybody. This is agility, so you wanna have quick feet here, light and quick feet. Amazing work, light on your toes. Let's go, let's go. Again, use that mat line as the center. You're halfway there, keep it up. Let's go, let's go. Five, four, three, two, and 
one. Woo. Great work, everybody. Grab some water. We are back and better than ever. We are going to continue with our next exercise here, which is back and forth. So, this may seem a little bit tricky at first, but you'll get the hang of it. You're gonna go one foot into the middle, the other foot into the middle, and then one foot outside the line, and then back into the middle, and then back to where you started from. So it's gonna look something like this. So you're gonna go into the middle, out, into the middle, out. So we're going back and forth, progressively moving down the line. So hopefully you get the hang of it. You're always returning back to the middle and always stepping outside of the mat lines. We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, and one, go! Into the middle, out, into the middle, out. And keep moving down the line as fast as you can. Let's go everybody. Back and forth. Keep breathing. See if you can go faster. Push yourself through this 45 second period. Great work everybody. Engage that core to help you move or shift to the side. <laughs> Don't let that happen. Be careful. <laughs> Great work, everybody. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Amazing work, everybody. We have one more exercise to go. So grab some water and we'll get started. Hi again. Sorry I lied. We have two more exercises left to go. So we still are close to the end. We're going to be doing one-legged hops from side to side. So what it's going to look like is you're going to go to one side to start off. You're going to start off, let's say, your right foot. And you're just going to hop from side to side using that line as a center line. And you're going to cross over it as such. So you're going to do one leg going there and back and then switch legs. Same thing. Hopping over the line, side to side, and back with the other leg. So again, there and back, one leg, and then switch your legs. We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, and one, go! So start off with one leg, hopping side to side, and see if you can challenge yourself by turning around and still hopping on that one leg. And even when you change legs, see if you can Always keep one foot in the air. Keep going, everybody. You're doing amazing. Remember to switch legs when you go there and back. Keep up the great work. Try to engage your core here as you hop from side to side. Keep it up, keep breathing. Three, two, and one. Woo. Amazing work, everybody. I know that was challenging, but you pushed through, and I'm very proud of you. So grab some water. One exercise left to go. Okay, everyone. We are down to our final exercise for today, and then we're done our main set. For our final exercise, we're gonna be doing sprinting on the spot as fast as you can, moving your arms alongside you, and see how fast you can go. Full on sprint, last 45 seconds of our main set today, so give it your all. We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, and one. Go! Sprint on the spot, let's go, let's go, let's go! Light on the feet, light on the feet. Let's go everybody! If you have the space, you can move around. Up to you! Let's go! Keep breathing! You have 25 seconds left! You're doing amazing! Keep it up! Keep it up! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Find every last strength in you and push yourself! Let's go! 10 more seconds left! Give it your all! Don't give up! 
five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Amazing work, everybody. Grab some water. You deserve it. That was awesome. We are now back from our main set today and we're going to move on to our cool down. So nice and easy, relaxing cool down today. You worked hard so you deserve this. Really take the time to stretch everything out and cool down your heart rate. So we're going to start with touching our toes. So stand nice and straight and reach for your toes as far as you can go. This is for one minute. so. You can close your eyes here, take the time to relax, just let your arms dangle and if you would like, inch by inch, you can try getting closer to your toes. But try not to pulse here, just let it hang. You can have a slight bend in your knees if you would like, you don't have to lock them out. Take some deep breaths here, cool down your heart rate. Amazing work everybody. We have 20 seconds left. Let your head dangle too. Doesn't have to be too heavy, you can just let it hang. You should feel this in your calves, in your hamstrings, in your glutes. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly but surely, raise your back up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Oh, that felt very nice. You have arm stretch next. So you're going to reach your right arm to start off over your body and you're going to take your other arm and lock it into your chest so make sure your shoulders are not doing this where they're reaching up to your ears you don't want that you want to keep your shoulders nice and low away from your ears and really pull that arm into your chest Again, take some deep breaths here. It helps stretch, you stretch, and it helps cool down your heart rate as well. We're gonna switch arms here. So work on the other arm. You don't wanna have one arm more flexible than the other. You wanna work out both arms here. Try to keep your shoulder in line and your arm an extension of your shoulder. Pull into that chest. Amazing work everybody. Five, four, three, two, and one. We have a neck stretch next. So you're going to extend your right arm to the side. And you want your palms facing the ground and you're just going to tilt your head to the left side. So you're stretching out your neck here, you're stretching the right side of your neck and your arm is an extension here of your neck. Great work everybody, keep holding here. We're going to switch to the other side very soon. Close your eyes, take some deep breaths. We're gonna switch in five, four, three, two, and one. Switch to the same thing with the other side. Your left arm is extended, palms facing the ground, and you're tilting your head to the right. This area here is always tight for most people so it's nice to stretch it out let it 
loosen up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rotate that neck, shake out the arms, the legs. Almost on our cool down, we have 30 seconds of pulling our arms back. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna clasp your hands together behind you, and you're just gonna pull those shoulders back. Now squeeze your shoulder blades here. Extend your arms as far back as possible. And if you would like, you can slowly but surely lower your chest down. Try to keep your spine nice and straight, looking down at the ground. Keep taking some deep breaths, allowing to stretch deeper. 10 seconds left, you're doing great everybody. Keep holding it, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release, oh, feels nice. We're gonna be doing a quadricep, <laughs> sorry, quadricep stretch next. So you're going to pull back your right leg, start off. You try to balance yourself. Now you're just going to stretch out your quadriceps here. And to do that, you're going to push your hips forward and bring your leg back as much as possible. If you need help with balance, you can stick your arm out to the side, or if you have a wall nearby, you can hold onto the wall. And also, if you want to challenge yourself a bit more, you can have your opposite hand reach for that foot, which will allow you to stretch even more. <laughs> Keep going, everybody. We're going to switch legs in five, four, three, two, and one. Switch. I'm going to do the same thing on my other leg. I'm going to use my opposite hand to hold my opposite foot. Again, push those hips forward. It really helps you engage those quadriceps. It helps stretch them out. Keep your spine nice and straight, your chest nice and high. If you want, you can bend your knee a bit. The knee that's not being stretched. Which will help you with balance. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake out those legs. My dog wants to make an appearance. <laughs> Have one more final stretch to go. You're going to lay on your mat. Lay your back on your mat. And you're going to pull one knee into your chest. So I'm going to pull my right knee into my chest, keep your back flat on the mat here, there should be no gaps in between, so you're engaging your core a little bit. Again, try to just pull that knee into your chest, it'll stretch out the hip flexors, and if you would like, you can flex and point your feet as much as possible. So you get a double stretch in here. We're gonna switch legs in five, four, three, two, and one. Switch. Same thing with the other leg. Pull it into your chest. And if you would like, you can flex and point your feet. Great work, everybody. Keep on breathing. Almost on our cool down for today. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release. You can get yourself up. And we are done our workout for today. So we are officially done our workout for today. I hope you enjoyed our activity at the beginning with the props. 
and our agility work. So if you like this video, you can give it a big thumbs up. You can comment down below and tell me how you liked it. And you can also subscribe, which also shows a lot of support for MJKO. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next week for another workout video. Bye, everybody!